In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to collect and upload the Motobus data to AWS. Preparation IG502 device and the PC, the Motobus TCP simulator or Motobus TCP device. This video takes Motobus simulator as an example. The AWS account. Part 1 Login and check. Install the SIM, attach antennas, and then power it down. Using Ethernet cable to connect the LAN port of Gateway and the PC. Log in to the Gateway, check the firmware version. Making sure the Gateway has access to the Internet. Check the SDK version, Device Supervisor Agent version. Part 2 Motobus Data Acquisition and Alarm Configuration. Firstly, run the Motobus Simulator on your PC. Select the protocol Modbus TCP. Set up the Modbus communication parameters. The port is 502. Click OK. Double click to add the decimal value at 40001. Set it as 10. Go to the web configuration page of Engageway, making sure the Python engine is on and the device supervisor agent is running. Navigate to device list. Click the button to create a new device. Give it a name. Select Modbus TCP. The IP address of the Modbus device now is one PCs. Set the port 502 as in the Modbus simulator. Keep the other parameters default. Then click to add a variable. Variable name, data1. Set the register address from the Modbus simulator such as 40001. Select the data type word, give it a read and write privilege, set it in real-time mode, and keep the other items at the default settings. Compare the value locked by the gateway with the one in the Modbus simulator, see if they are the same. Navigate to Alarm, add an alarm strategy. Fill in a name and select a group. Use existing variable. Apply it on the device 1 and data 1. Set the alarm condition greater than 10 and less than 20. Add description. Click confirm to save the alarm strategy. Part 3. Connect to AWS IoT. Go to AWS free tier. Sign in to the console. Fill in your credentials. Click sign in. Select IoT Core. Go to Manage Things. Click Create. Create a single thing. Give your thing a name. For example, Test123. The next. One click certificate creation is recommended. Download the certificate for thing, private key. And you also have to download the root CA for AWS IoT. We recommend Class 3. Then switch back to the tab to active. When it shows you success, click down. You can now see the in your things list. Go to secure policies. One click to create a policy. Give the policy a name. For example, test123. Define the type of the action that can be performed by a resource. IoT the column, the asterisk. Type in the resource, the asterisk. Select Allow. Create. Now you will successfully create the policy. Go to Secure. Certificates. Edit the certificate that you've just created. Attach policy. Select the policy that we've just created. Test 123. Click Attach. Then click Attach Thing. Select the one that we've just created. Attach. The announcement bar shows we've successfully attached them. Part 4. Publish and subscribe messages to AWS. Go to Device Supervisor, Cloud. Enable Cloud Service. Select Type, AWS IoT. Endpoint Type, AWS IoT Cloud Service. Copy the endpoint from AWS IoT Core Settings. Test it. Import the certificate for a thing. Private key. 
and Rule CA we created on AWS. Know that when we are using the class 3, we have to delete dash ATS in the endpoint. Leave the advanced settings as default. Submit. We can now see the cloud status is connected. Create a publication topic for real-time data. Give it a name and topic. QS1, collect type, default group. Submit. Then create another publication topic for the alert. Upload 2, test 2, QS1. Warning type and group. Submit. Create a subscription topic. For example, download. Change the debug to info. Submit. Go to AWS test, MQTT test client. Subscribe to the topics that we just published on Gateway. This topic is for uploading the data logged by the Gateway. We can see the received raw data is as the same as the one logged by the Gateway. Test 2 is for warning, but now there is no alarm. Go to the Gateway configuration page, device list. Modify the value to 50. Wait for a moment for it to take effect. Check the real-time alarms. It was triggered by the value 50. Go to AWS IoT. It also received the alarm synchronized by the Gateway. Back to Edge Computing Python Engine. Open the log. Go to AWS IoT. Publish to the topic that we just subscribed on the Gateway. Then we can see on the log page of the Gateway, you received the message published from AWS. Up to now, we've completed Modbus TCP data acquisition, publish and subscribe data to AWS. For more information, please visit inhango.com.